The email document for review feature not only allows you to email your document out to whoever you want to send it to, but it'll also track in the color red any changes that other person makes to your document. So when they send it back, there won't be any second guesses to the changes they made because you'll see it in the color red. So to go ahead and send this off for review, we need to add the command to the quick access toolbar and we can do that by right clicking anywhere on it to customize it. Click on it. Change it from popular commands to all commands. And the name of the command is send for review. So let's click and drag the scrolly bar down to the S's for send. And there it is. Let's go ahead and double click on it to add it over to the right. Click okie dokie. Adds it up to the quick access toolbar. Click on it. Give it a second. Well, it opens up the email message here down below. Click on it to bring it up. And it opens up the Outlook 2016 program here, or the message part of it. And it says, who do you want to send it to? Well, go ahead and type in an email address. And because I've already used Kerry Heffernan before, when I type in K, it prompts me for the email address that I can then hit the tab key to pull in her email address. And then the subject, please review. And in quotes, or single quotes there, it's got the name of the document, email document review. There's the name of the document and the document that's attached. And then down below in the body of the message, please review the attached document. And you can come down in here and type in any extra messages you want and say, please hurry, pronto, or in the subject, change that, wherever you'd like. And then when you're ready, go ahead and click send. And when you send it off, well, when you click send, if you're using Outlook 2016, it'll sit in the outbox until you, well, let me click on start to open up Outlook 2016. And there's the outbox. And it sits in there. Well, it just sent it off, but it won't send it off until I actually open up Outlook. In any case, you can learn more about that by watching my Outlook training videos. So now that I sent it off to Carrie, when she gets the email, she'll go to her inbox. And then let's pretend this is the email. She'll double click on it to open it up. She'll see the attachment. She'll double click on the attachment and it'll open up in Microsoft Word. She'll make her changes to it. And when she's done, it'll force her to save it to the computer because it won't save it back into the message. So when it saves it to her computer, she'll go ahead and come up here and click Reply, opens it up, and then she'll come up here and click on Insert to attach that file that's on her computer. Click on it, and it tries to remember their most recent files here. Otherwise, you'll have to come down here and browse the PC. Find it somewhere on your desktop, double click on it, and it's attached. And then she can come down below and say, carry. In any case, then she'll send it off. That's how she's going to do it on her end. But this is our end. This is just a, an explanation for her end. Let's go ahead and close out of that and not save it. And then let's go ahead and close out of here. And while we're waiting for her to make changes and send it back to us, let's go back to the document here because there's something else I want to go over. You can go ahead and use this feature to not only send it, but to go ahead and tell the document to keep track of all the changes that are going to be made or you can do it the long way. You can come over here and click on the Review tab, go to the Tracking Group, and click on Track Changes. And then you can go ahead and save the document and then attach it to an email and send it off. Because that right there is what's keeping track of any changes that anybody makes, including me. So if I come down here and I double click to select Strobing and I delete that, and I say Flashing the Night, and maybe some other changes like chest heaves and exasperation, maybe writers open wide and exasperation. Well, it's keeping track of all of it, and you don't see it over here, but over to the far right, you've got these little track changes bars you can click on that when you click on any one of these, and the reason why it's over there is because it's indicating to me that there's been a change made on that line. So let me go ahead and click off of it so I can look through the document and go, oh, she made changes to this line and that line. If I want to see them, again, just go ahead and click on it, on any one of them, and it opens up all changes that were made. And so you can see any changes that were made are in red, well, when it comes to deletions that I made. So it shows me what I deleted with a red line through it and what I added in blue. So that's pretty cool. And that's what I'm going to see when I open up Carrie's document when she sends it back to me. And we'll talk about this track changes feature in another training video. 
but I wanted to give you a heads up that it's a two-in-one feature when you come up here and you add that to the quick access toolbar because we'll send the email off but it'll turn the track changes on. So let's go ahead and close out of here and not save it and Carrie says that she's got it done now and so she's sending it back to me now. Let's go ahead and click on send receive so and there she did it so let's go ahead and double click she says here you go great let's go ahead and double click and open up the attached document and up here it says oh please be careful if you trust this person it may contain a virus I better trust her let's go ahead and say enable editing and it gives us some options because what it's looking at is it's looking at the document that I have on my desktop the email document for review it's a copy of it that Carrie's sending back to me and it wants to know if I want to go ahead and merge the changes the changes she made back into that document I can say yes no don't ask again let's go ahead and say yes and it looks like word freaked out and it crashed and so it did a recovery well glad it brought it back great and we got a split window here if I don't want the split window I can hover in between the two split windows the line there until I can see arrows pointing up and down and double click really fast just to get rid of that and it looks like it's in web mode and not print layout well in any case it's your flavor let me go down and and click on print layout I prefer that in any case you can see over to the right we've got those editing what I call bars there to show the track changes if you want to see them go ahead and click on it and okay so she deleted the line through the strike sky and replaced it with firmament strobing the she didn't like night she wanted darkness and then the well she crossed out that all right well I like the mirror's nostril flare she can also add comments to this in any case we cover that in another training video this is just to get you out the door here we go over more details and when she sends it back to me you can see that the track changes is turned off so any changes that I make when I type in extra text I don't get that bar over to the right hand side because it's not keeping track of it so it's turned off after she makes her changes and sends it back to me which brings up a good point when she gets the document she can just come up here and click to turn off track changes and then send it back to me and I'm like okay what changes did you make but there are some ways to get around that you can secure it lock it so she can't turn it off or you can go ahead and do a merge as we just did here in any case those are additional training videos because otherwise this would turn into uh, well a really super long training video and then as a heads up when it comes to the changes she made in another training video you can in the changes group on the review tab either accept or reject those changes sound pretty cool thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video